The Bruin has been nerfed on the latest update. Admittedly, only really in damage range, but this opens the door for a new LMG in town, and that's the Holger. Especially since this weapon got a buff in the latest update too, improving its ADS speed and damage range. This is on top of the buff it got back in May too, so we're really looking at a much improved weapon. The Holger is probably most famous for its ability to be converted into a G36C, which just makes a lot of us feel warm inside. It's important to note that I do still expect the Bruin to be fantastic, as it is only a slight nerf, which is even weaker than the one given to the Grau, and look how good that weapon still is. But I have been giving the upgraded Holger a whirl, and I've gotta say it really is a great weapon to use, since now its weaker attributes are now some of its stronger attributes, particularly with the right attachments on. So I thought I'd recommend a couple of classes for the Holger on Warzone that you can try out, and allow you to quite possibly find your new favourite weapon. So this is the first class that I recommend for the Holger 26. Off the bat, you know what's coming, it's the Monolithic Suppressor. You don't leave home without it on Warzone. We obviously want sound suppression, and most importantly, it gives us a little bit of extra damage range. As always, we take the ADS hit, but we've just gotta accept it. For the barrel, I've gone for the XRK Ultralight. It increases our ADS speed at the uh, reduction of bullet velocity, but to be honest, it's the ADS speed on LMGs that let them down. Obviously, the Holger got a buff improving that ADS speed, but we just want to improve it as much as we can, whilst only reducing the bullet velocity by a little bit. So we have got an optic on this weapon. I've put the GI Mini Reflex on it. It's very good optic to make uh, shots very clear and gives you a good ADS speed. Um, a lot of the time I don't like to put an optic on the weapon as it takes up an attachment, but on this I felt it was necessary as the iron sights are a little bit horrible, but um, if you can put up with them that's great, you can use your extra attachment elsewhere, perhaps on a stock for this class variant. Now we're going to go down uh, to rear grip, it's the old classic stippled grip tape again, we're trying to improve that aiming down sight speed, and with this one we even get some sprint to fire speed with it as well. So obviously LMGs, this is where they struggle most in that aiming down sight speed and sprint to fire speed. They're normally good for basically already aiming down your sight and being ready for someone. But if you're running around on Verdansk, you know, you might just run into someone. You need that little bit of an advantage and this is exactly where it comes into play. For the underbarrel, I've gone for the Commando 4 grip. Again, no real surprises here. We're controlling our recoil and our aiming and only losing movement speed. And, you know, with an LMG, a heavy weapon like this, uh, we really um, aren't too bothered about movement speed. Maybe if it was an SMG, an MP5, MP7, something like that, we would be. But I don't think it's that important for this weapon. Now the thing that makes this weapon so great for Warzone is the ammunition that comes just with the weapon without any alterations. So it actually comes with 100 rounds in the magazine off the bat. So you don't have to use an attachment slot on ammunition, which is great. And actually it reloads pretty quick considering it's, you know, 100 rounds. So all in all, this makes for a very good class setup. It's more like an AR compared to an LMG. Obviously this weapon gets converted a lot to the G36C, and I can understand why it's, uh, it's very natural to make it into an AR, but admittedly with a hell of a lot of bullets. Now if we move on to class 2, this is where Modern Warfare comes into its own for me. Obviously the game has got many negatives, but the way you can change your classes and weapons makes it pretty unique. So obviously here we're using an LMG. On the previous class setup we've basically made it into an AR. Well here we've kind of got an SMG AR hybrid. So again for the muzzle we've got monolithic suppressor. Again no surprise it's just a must have on Warzone. But we actually don't have a barrel, a laser or an optic on any of this. But we have taken a stock off to increase your movement speed and ADS speed. With that no stock we've got stippled grip tape again improving the ADS speed and sprint to fire speed. But what we've actually done on this class is taken off the 100 rounds, which comes with the weapon, and put on 30 round mags. Now I know you're thinking, it's Warzone, why would you do that? That You're going to be coming up against plenty of enemies. But maybe if you're in solos or duos, or you've got a good squad around you, you can actually put this on, right? So you're going to reduce your mags to, to just 30, but you improve your ADS speed, sprint to fire speed, movement speed, reload quickness. These are actually massive advantages if you can drop 70 rounds in your mags. And for this kind of shorter range weapon that we've created here, I think that is more than worth it. 
So finally on this class setup we've also got Commando Foregrip. Um, so a lot of the attachments on this weapon uh, we've gone to try and improve its mobility and ADS speed, sprint to fire speed and things like that. But, you know, when you are actually going to aim in, we still need a little bit of stability and uh, recall stabilization. So that's what we've got here with the Commando Foregrip. So it's not, you know, a complete overhaul just to give it, you know, speed and mobility and things like that. We still want it to be able to actually kill people when we get into gunfights. So I think there are some nice compromises on this second class setup for the Holger 26. I really would recommend giving both of these classes a run. They're really good fun to use, first and foremost, and second of all, they're actually really good. Um, since the buff uh, came out on the update uh, to improve your damage range and ADS speed, all of a sudden, this weapon has become a little bit of a destroyer. I think you'll see it popping up a lot more in games. But of course, the Bruin is probably still going to rule the roost um, for the most part, um, despite it being nerfed and a little bit of damage being taken off it. That being said, I think if you came up one-to-one -one versus a Bruin over um, a short range or short to medium range, you're going to have a good battle, and quite possibly you are going to win, especially with this class 2, obviously, because it's set up for closer ranges, but also that class 1. I really do think it is a, a real competitor for the crown that the Bruin currently holds. And hey, variety is the spice of life. If you've used the M4 and the Growl and, you know, the Bruin these days, um, every single game, it's nice to use different weapons and see what else is actually out there, and use different class configurations and things like that. Well, that's everything for me in this video. It was short and sweet, but I thought I'd quickly tell you that the update has made a decent weapon into a good weapon, and if you fancy using it but don't know what to put on it, well now you have a couple of options. If you found the video helpful, please give it a like, and why not consider subscribing if you want to see more Call of Duty videos. See ya!